When we started five years ago, we um, had a one-day summit with about 150 people. We have grown over the years, and it's grown from ideas and what are other people doing that we can now do to some successful programs that we now respond to that have significant outcomes. Nine years ago, there were only two telehealth programs in South Carolina, and DMH telepsychiatry was one of those. The other was the stroke program down at MUSC. Now, eight years later, there are 275 programs in South Carolina that involve telehealth. Telehealth has sold itself to the, to the legislature in South Carolina by the results that they've provided. About 50% of the state had access to primary stroke care, and now the latest statistic I saw this fall was 96% of citizens in the state of South Carolina have the access to the critical uh, uh, primary stroke care. We know, we see the stats. South Carolina, when it comes to health, is uh, either one, two, or three when it comes to diabetes, one, two, or three, you know, when it comes to high blood pressure. We just want to recognize our champions who have really helped to move this along in the state. Providers, administrators, um, nurse practitioners, nurses, just all different types of health professionals at the conference. When you talk about bringing in technology, uh, enabling telemedicine, uh, Honestly, it could really, it does save lives, but it could really transform and improve the economic welfare of the community.